much caution in a measured way as we could. So we would have asked first for the vaccinated to come to school, which is considered, still considered by the government, the safest way for students to interact in the public space. However, based on what has been happening in the last two weeks, and that is why we gave it two weeks to see how it would progress, based on what is happening, we do not have the numbers that suggest that students will be returning um, in the required amounts anytime soon. And this now puts their education at risk. The government is not closing our eyes to that situation. And therefore, parents would have made a choice not to vaccinate their children. And that is now um, respected by the government. And so we are saying to you, that is no longer required at school to send your children to school. Because if you do not do that very soon, their education will be compromised. So that, that is what it is there. And students, it, it cannot be both ways at this point in time. We have seen um, and heard from tutor. We are taking note of their position. And uh, at this point in time, it is not possible to straddle the two positions. So in addition to that, one of the main areas that was a position of serious outcry would have been the completion of labs for our students. And so there is now the opportunity for all students to come to school and have all of these matters addressed. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Rihanna McKenzie from Newsday. I um, just you know, want to get an idea of the feedback from stakeholders on their comfort level with the decision. How comfortable are they with having the mix of vaccinated and unvaccinated students? And um, I know we have to... Let me address that one. Okay, sure. The general outcry from stakeholders, and when we met with them, every stakeholder expressed that they would like to see all students out at school. The NPTA was, was very strong and resolute. Um, the principals associations, um, everyone was very clear that they would like to see all students given the opportunity that has been provided. Uh, second question, I know we still have to wait from date, for data from CXC, but I was wondering uh, when we can expect a breakdown on, on how um, CSEC and CAPE students have done. That should come out later today. Good afternoon, everyone. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News. Um, Minister, just a question. Since we're having more students coming out in the classrooms, is there going to be a bigger thrust from the ministry or the government to get more teachers vaccinated? At this time, the government has done all it can to provide the vaccines for both teachers and students to be vaccinated. It is down now to the choice of our citizens as to how they want to be able to interact in the public space. Hi, Minister. So now that the Form 4s to 6 are physically in school and you will have those teachers, how is the Form 1 to 3 online? Isn't that going to clash with um, teachers having classes at simultaneously? How is that going to work? I have spoken to quite a few principals as well as the associations. And what has come forward from the principals is that they have made arrangements to handle the both. At this point in time, there are schools operating that system without issue and with most of their cohorts out. And even schools where there are issues in terms of student attendance, principals have um, indicated that they have scheduled and this flexibility was asked for by principals and it has been given to them to, to fashion their timetable in such a way that teachers are able to deal with the physical classes and also deal with their online classes. So that has not been the major issue brought forward by parents, by principals. What has been the issue is trying to deal with the forms four to six some in the classroom, some not in the classroom, and in many cases, many not in the classroom. So that has been the, the real point of contention. And so in an attempt to deal with that and to ensure that our children, their education is not disadvantaged, this decision has been taken. Okay, 
Peshana Pagun is at seven. So my question is about spaces in school. Mm -hmm. What would it look like? Is it that they're going to be six feet apart, three feet apart? And, uh, you know, schools are not that big. So what is the plan then when all students come out? What, what is it going to look like? Is all it students have phones four to six? Yeah. Well, that is the reason why students from forms one to three will remain remote now. As you may have um, known, the proposal was to bring out the vaccinated one to three, and principals indicated that they preferred to leave those at home now and deal with the four to six. They have examinations, they have labs and so on to focus on. And what has happened in response to the social distancing required, the forms four to six now has been spread out in the available space because the one to three are not there. And so that would allow them to have the required distancing. And of course, along with distancing comes the masking, the entry protocols, the sanitization, and so on, so that there are different layers of protection for the students. So those who are not vaccinated at this time, I am just putting it out there that you, know, you have to be ultra careful, make sure, wear your mask, sanitize, have extra masks in case something happens and so on, so that you protect yourself as all citizens must in this time of the pandemic. This is our reality. So schools are um, well arranged already to handle the students spread out around the school. Do we have any further questions from the media? Going once, twice, fine. Minister, thank you very much. Members of the media, thank you very much for coming out today. And the release, as Minister promised, will be issued this afternoon as we release the performance of C-Second Case.